Josh, yesterday the defense, or, I'm sorry, the energy secretary sat down with the big oil CEOs at the White House, and I've heard it was a very constructive meeting. They came up with ideas. I, I just don't know if they are ideas that the administration or other Democrats would support. One thing would be to start selling this winter-grade gasoline in the summer, and, and that's good. It would give them about 2 percent excess capacity, allow them to do more when they're already using the refinery cap capacity past 90, 90 maybe 94 percent. But the downside is it, it comes with an environmental cost. Butane and pentane are two of the chemical compounds that are put into that. They evaporate quickly, much more quickly in the summer months, and that could lead to issues about smog and ozone. Um, would, where would you come down on something like that? If it's going to mean that you get hundreds of barrels per day on additional gasoline, but it's going to come with a temporary environmental cost, which side would you choose? Well, the Secretary of Energy talked about several measures yesterday with the, with the oil and gas executives. By the way, I think a very good move to be sitting down and talking with them. That's what we should be doing, you know, not just beating them up, but actually trying to solve the problem. Um, I think we've got to get capacity up, and so I think everything should be on the table. But, you know, we have to, at the same time, be doing everything we can on fighting climate change and alternative energy. I just think it's a false choice to say you've got to pick one or the other. You're going to have to do both. And we know how much it hurts when the, when the prices go up at the pump for families. So we've got to get capacity up. If that's one of the options, we've got to make sure we study that up and down. Um, but, you know, what we can't do is say we should just flip a switch and think we're going to solve this problem overnight and not realize that it's a transition. And so okay. what I'm focused on, how do we get that domestic capacity up? Well, let, let, let me throw another one your way. If you don't want to make a decision immediately on whether you go ahead with the winter blend uh, gasoline, well, what about the I'm not against There's well, you're not against it. I, not, I, I realize that. But everybody likes to say we can walk and chew gum at the same time. Sometimes life is a series of choices, and you have to pick one versus the other. And I think some of the best solutions you could possibly have are situations just like that. I don't know what the right answer is, but you're going to be the one who gets asked to potentially vote on some of these things if it makes it way, its way out of the administration. Another issue they talked about is getting rid of some of the Jones Act issues, at least temporarily, so that you don't have a U.S. manufactured ship that is U.S. flagged, that is U.S. crewed, that are the only things that can take things from one U.S. port to another. If we get into a situation in hurricane season where you have to shut some of these refiners down because you're doing it for a safety precaution ahead of, ahead of the hurricanes getting there, that's going to mean if you are allowed to use other ships, maybe foreign flagged ships, that you could move energy around the country more quickly. However, it's not something the labor unions are generally in favor of because they think it weakens U.S. jobs. So if you have to pick on those two sides, what do you do at this point? I mean, obviously, if you're in a crisis, you got to address it and do it and take every measure. I mean, that's your point, Becky, right? That I yeah. think you're you're making. That all of those things, you know, I, I'm I'm what I what I think you need to do, and this is what the Secretary of Energy is doing, is looking at each of these, and we're going to have to make choices. What you can't do is say we're going everything is off the table, uh, and we're not going to consider anything that doesn't, you know, immediately uh, uh, solve every problem. Um, you know, and the way I look at this, and. I've, I've reached out to the secretary about it, and obviously I've said that the president should continue to bring the oil and gas executives into the White House and actually have these conversations, even though some folks don't like it. I get that. But you can, and I think it is some, Becky, not everybody thinks we should take an all of the above approach and thinks we should get up our, our short-term domestic capacity. I think we, we should. Um, I mm -hmm. think we have to. And I, the, the two suggestions you just made are exactly the kind of suggestions that I think we should be making the tough choices on. And, yeah. you know, and, and it's up to the, us in, in Congress if it's brought to us, but also the secretary to make those changes. And I guess the point is we've got to be aggressive here to help families get costs down. And that's at the that's at the pump. That's at in the grocery store. Obviously, the Fed chairman has to do the same at the Fed. Um, but we've got to move fast here to help families. And we can't hem and haw about it.